Hey, have you guys thought of which research areas to be interested in? I'm thinking of health care, but I don't know where to start. You can approach Prof. Daniel for help. He has several projects on that. Hi, please come in. Hi, Prof. I'm very interested in healthcare operations. Oh, sure. That's great. Actually, we are starting a new project with the NUH Heart Center to work on their data analysis project with the intensive care unit, so to improve the operational efficiency and the medical decision outcomes. I'm Dr. Ui Un Chong and I would like to discuss with you our ICU projects. We would like to find out ways to predict two categories of patients. After their major operations, we would like to find out ways to predict which patients are going to deteriorate and which ones will become better. We built a new framework to enhance the capability of existing scoring systems in the intensive care units. For example, the Sequential Organ Failure Assessment Score, which is a number between 0 and 24, is a commonly used scoring system to track a patient's status during the stay in the ICU. However, the scores typically fail to trigger an early warning signal sufficiently ahead of time for physicians to intervene. We identify a critical lag in the provision of information due to the long lead time to measure some physiological variables used in calculating these scores. This lag poses a problem when the system calculates the patient's score. Some of the variables only reflect the patient's condition as it was either hours or days before, which is to say, the time when these variables were last measured. The computed score thus fails to capture the real-time condition of the patient. The new system was demonstrated to significantly improve various existing early warning scoring systems, in particular for the most popular score used in the ICUs called the Sequential Organ Failure Assessment Score. The new system was found to be effective in capturing potential deterioration that was not recognized by the existing systems. With more tests and validations, both internal and external, the new system can be potentially embedded in the existing system and new intervention protocols can be developed to improve on the new system. This project is a good example of interdisciplinary research collaboration between SMU's business school and School of Information Systems with the industry, particularly in the area of healthcare operations. SMU partnered with the National University Hospital in this instance. Yen worked closely with me to develop a new algorithm and framework. She used optimization and machine learning techniques to find ways to solve the problem at hand. This project has helped her to strengthen her research ability and apply it to a real-world issue. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to join Daniel's team and to be able to work with the hospital on this project. Indeed, I have learned a lot from this project.